Radio, we're gonna. This is a quick demo on how to use the logic editor in Blender 2.74. The logic editor is pretty cool. So I'm just gonna move that up a little. Select logic editor down the bottom here. And uh, what we got is cube, a cube default cube. I'm just going to create another cube, shift A. I'm going to move it along the uh, Y axis a little bit just out the way. I'm going to call it cube B and the other one I'll just call cube A. Go back to cube Okay, so what we got down here in the logic editor is cube B is selected. If I select cube A, cube A is the uh, is, is the one where all the logic will be applied. But I want to apply the logic on cube B. First thing I'll do is add a ah, I forgot this cube. We need to be in blend again because this is. What I know about cube B add sensor always leave everything as defaults add an actuator and motion get the two get the dot and just join it up to that one there and it automatically creates a an and logic controller for you and the motion I want to move it along the x-axis just a little bit now press P to start and there it goes escape now uh, what we also have is we can apply rotation so let's just give it a bit of rotation let's do that one first yes uh, let's move it on the y-axis as well and give it some y rotation. Whoa! And let's uh, move it on the z-axis as well and give it some z rotation. Yeah, <laughs> that's mad. That's um. Yeah, that's just the basic logic editor. And that is pretty cool. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks very much.